the protection of civilians must be priority number one. International humanitarian and human rights law must be upheld. The decisions of the coming days will shape our world and directly affect the lives of millions upon millions of people. In line with the Charter, it's not too late to save this generation from the scourge of war. We need peace. It is wrong. It is against the Charter. It is unacceptable, but it is not irreversible. I repeat my appeal from last night to President Putin. Stop the military operation. Bring the troops back to Russia. As I made crystal clear, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. Our worst fears have now come true, and all our warnings have proved tragically accurate. President Putin of Russia has unleashed war in our European continent. He's attacked a friendly country without any provocation and without any credible excuse. Ukraine is a country that for decades has enjoyed freedom and democracy and the right to choose its own destiny. We and the world cannot allow that freedom just to be snuffed out. We cannot and will not just look away. Italia, l'Unione Europea e tutti gli alleati chiedono al Presidente Putin di mettere fine immediatamente allo spargimento di sangue e di ritirare le proprie forze militari al di fuori dei confini internazionalmente riconosciuti dell'Ucraina in modo incondizionato. Con gli alleati della Nato ci stiamo coordinando per potenziare immediatamente le misure di sicurezza sul fianco est dell'Alleanza e stiamo rafforzando il nostro già rilevante contributo allo spiegamento militare in tutti i Paesi alleati più direttamente esposti. Le sanzioni porte alla Russia saranno alla hauteur de l'aggression dont elle sera coupable. Sur le plan militaire et économique, autant que dans le domaine de l'énergie, nous serons sans faiblesse. Nous appuierons l'Ukraine sans hésiter et nous prendrons toutes nos responsabilités pour protéger la souveraineté et la sécurité. L'Ukraine 稱其武裝力量不會對他城市實施導彈、航空和火炮的襲擊,那麼我們中方密切關注當前最新事態的發展,我們希望地區能夠保持和平,我們也呼籲各方保持克制,避免局勢失控。